Let me show you how I upload my carousel posts onto Instagram so that's easy to do instead of uh, someone said that if they had to download each slide and upload it. No, no, no. That's definitely not how I do it. So first of all, I do my, um, excuse me here, canva.com. Okay. I do my carousels in, in Canva. Okay. So then I, I go to Canva. I've done my carousel post, which hopefully won't take you much time. I have a, I have a separate YouTube video about how I do Instagram carousel posts, how I basically do this. So feel free to look up that YouTube video to learn. But once I've created it, I click share, I click download. And then uh, I'm, I'm assuming all of it is downloaded. Actually, when I do my carousel post, the last slide, I don't usually upload that. That's for YouTube. So I'm going to uncheck the last slide. Anyway, I click. So all of it, the ones I want to put on the Instagram are all checked. I click done. It's PNG, 1080 by 1080 is just fine. You can you can even go double if you want a better resolution if you have graphics and on your on your carousels. I don't have graphics. So I just, I just do 1080 is fine. I click download. And what it does is it then gives me a, zipped file on my desktop. I then open up the zipped file. Okay. And then I go to, um, I go to uh, uh, Meta Business Suite, uh, which uh, I will post the link below this. I go to Meta Business Suite and then I, I click create, usually Meta Business Suite. Um, the link I'm going to give you goes to here. I click on create. I select my Instagram. And I unselect Facebook because I'm just doing Instagram carousel posts right now. I click add photo and video. I click upload from desktop. Okay. And watch this. Okay. So I have opened up the zipped file with the images. And then here's the thing. I'm on Mac. So I get to like look at, look at um, the, uh, you know, look, look at the images in a folder in different ways. Like this is called icon view. And this is not as good for, for selecting carousel posts. So I had to go to list view, okay? And here in list view, I select the first one and then I hold down the shift key and I select all the way down, okay? So all of it's selected. Now, the other way of doing it is probably you could just, I think you could just click and drag, right? All 10. So all 10 are selected. I click open and that's it. I don't have to upload each one, okay? And I, and I wait for it to load, okay? I wait for it to load. And then I, uh, yeah, it's still loading. But when it finishes loading, um, I can then flip. Through. Okay, there it is. It's finished loading. I can then flip through and check my my ordering of the slides are correct. So one out of 10, two out of 10, because looking at the, the corner here, three out of 10, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's it. <laughs> it's really as simple as that. And then I will, I will usually put the... Um, the words of the title slide here, whatever the words are, I put the title slide there. And then I can either publish now or schedule and I, I click publish. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not publishing a post right now, but that's really, really how I do it. That's as simple as that. I hope this helps you to make, to upload carousel posts much more easily. Uh, you can, you can, once you're here, you can also um, do fancy things like uh, filter. You can, you can even add text on top of an image. Like if it was an image, you can, you can add text. I'm not going to do this right now. I just wanted to show you how I do it easily because I just do text only slides. So I don't do any of these other fancy things, but I'm just saying you could, you could also, if let's say, let's say somehow slide uh, one was, okay. I just want to show you, let's say somehow I'm going to go back beginning here. Whoops. Uh, nine, sorry, nine, 10. Okay. Easier way of doing it. Back to the beginning. There we go. Let's say slide two and then slide one was, was opposite. Then I can simply click and drag slide. You can click and drag these things so that now it's slide one and slide two. So anyway, that's how I do it. Um, and I hope this is helpful. And you can even add, if you want to delete something, you can add more. But I just want to show you the simple way that I do it. Every single week, I, I do it this way. Thanks.